All right, guys, one thing I forgot was to address uh, daily maintenance. So uh, we're gonna, he's going to walk us through what uh, what kind of daily maintenance there is on a Fent Ideal Combine. So <clears throat> daily maintenance on an, on an Ideal Combine, you won't find uh, any any 10-hour grease fittings um, on any of our grease banks. So we have, we have two uh, main grease banks labeled on uh, the, the front part of the machine and then on the rear part of the machine. So the, the front part's right up here, uh, right underneath the cab, right up by the feeder house. Um, we've got two 50-hour grease fittings and then we've got two 500-hour grease fittings. So the nice thing about these fittings as well is it's stamped on the, uh, on the block right there showing uh, whether it's a 50 or 500-hour grease fitting because because us growing up, uh, at least for us, if we see in a grease fitting, we at least hit it with five or seven shots a day. Uh, so it's, it's nice to know how much you're putting in and, uh, and where you're putting it as well. There are a few drive shafts on the, uh, on the combine as well. We do suggest to uh, uh, grease those at, at the regular maintenance marks for those, which are highlighted in the operator's manual as well. And, uh, and then if you follow me to the rear part of the machine here, I'll show you where the, uh, the grease fittings are for the rotor as well. So there are two grease grease zerks on the back part of the machine, uh, and they're located right here um, above our SPM, which is our switch panel module. Uh, it's where we make some lighting adjustments, chaffer and sieve adjustment if we need to as well. Um, but we've got two grease zerks here, and uh, those are both 500-hour grease zerks. So uh, relatively quick maintenance in the morning as far as gearboxes. As well, we have sight glasses on our gearboxes that are available to be seen from the ground. Um, up, up top, we're, you're making your uh, checks for engine coolant, hydraulic oil, engine oil, stuff like that. It's all available from the catwalk. It doesn't require you to crawl around. Coolant and hydraulic are both visu <coughs> visually shown to you what, uh, what the levels are. And then uh, engine oil is just a dipstick up there as well. And then we've got a couple of rotor gearbox dipsticks up there um, is to check fluid levels. So daily maintenance, just checking fluids, uh, pretty quick, pretty simple. Perfect. All right, so you're going to walk us through on how to do a changeover from corn to beans? Yes, sir. Beans to corn, vice versa? Yes, sir. So uh, for instance, if you're saying, if you're needing to go from a, a crop where you run a high, high feeder speed to a low feeder speed or vice versa, uh, you're going to make all that adjustment right here. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a nice throw over latch right here, an easy access throw over latch. Um, basically you can detention your belt right here. Um, and then what, what's going to happen is you're going to run your belt over a different track. So we've got uh, two pulleys right here. Um, we've got a larger pulley, of course, and a smaller pulley. So the smaller pulley actually sits inside of this larger pulley. You uh, loosen these three nuts on this uh, larger pulley. Uh, you turn it so that uh, you get these holes uh, lined up with these, these three pegs right here. You pull that pulley out, then you tighten down these three nuts on it, and it's hit, basically going to sit outside of that belt track. And then th that belt's going to track over this smaller pulley that's on the, on the inside of this big pulley. And uh, that'll, that'll be your adjustment going from high to low, low to high. We'll come back over here. Uh, we've got a diagram that shows you for a high speed, um, how you would route it, okay. for low speed. How you would route it? Yeah, and they, we like pictures. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pictures help help everything, and uh, uh, you don't have to go back through the operator to make make a phone call. And then you you use your uh, handle right here as well to make uh, your tensioning adjustment there. Okay. And so it's uh, it's quick. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. It should like uh, more than a few minutes to make that adjustment. Okay. And then there's more moving back to the machine. Yes, sir. So moving back, we have a few more adjustments. Okay. So uh, on this side of the combine, uh, we have a class 7 machine right here, so this is our single rotor combine, so this will be a little bit different than our 8 and 9, um, but basically changeover uh, concept is going to be, be the same. So uh, right here is where you'll, you're going to change out your uh, concaves, and uh, a little bit thir further back through the machine is where you're going to change out your grates as well. So right here where you're making the concave change. Um, Going from corn to beans is the biggest question. Can I go from, from corn in the morning to beans in the afternoon and not have to change out concave? So from what we've found, um, what we have in this machine right now is four large wire concaves. Um, going from corn to beans, we're able to run three large wire concaves in the, in the fr front three and then a round bar concave in the back. And that'll uh, go from corn to beans uh, from, from morning, afternoon, day to day, whatever it may need to be uh, without changing concaves. 
Now, when you get into a higher moisture situation where you know you're starting to see a higher moisture corn, you might have to add in another round bar concave. Just a little bit more aggression. Just, just a little bit more aggression, yes. And so, uh, the change on that, each concave hooks on a bar in the back, an adjustment bar, you know, that moves it up and down. And then uh, it's got each concave's got two bolts in it, so it's not uh, not a sequence of a lot of pins yeah. or this and that. It's just two bolts and a, and a hook in the back. Okay. Pretty easy to, to this just pick access up. by the shield on each side. Yes, sir. So we have an access on, uh, door on each side, access panel with throwover latches. No tool required for that yeah. either, and uh, should be a quick change in, change out. Okay. So moving back, we've got a few more adjustments to make in the rear part of the combine. So our last adjustment, going from say corn to beans or high uh, high speed chopper to low speed chopper, um, is just this belt here on the rear right hand side of the combine. So uh, what we do to make the adjustment here is we roll our chopper back, rolling the chopper back, detensions that belt. On the top side, you have your driver pulley. So basically, you can go from the small pulley to big, big pulley to small. Um, without tools, because uh, like I said, when you slide that chopper back, it detensions that pulley as well. So you make that adjustment on top, you make that adjustment down here, you slide your chopper back in, and you're ready to roll. Um, so pretty, pretty quick, uh, pretty easy adjustments around the combine. Uh, if, if you're going from corn to beans and you know you don't need to change concaves, your adjustments could be made within five to ten minutes. So uh, it's pretty reasonable. I know it's it's not the hour-long process that it, that it used to be. So yeah, it's nice to be able to hop from one field to another, sw swap ahead, and, yeah. and uh, get ready to roll. Well, like you said, moisture changing throughout the day. It's nice to be able to go back and forth that stream of sleep. For sure, it's nice to, nice to uh, <laughs> to know you don't have to wrench on the combine all day to, to get it rolling. So. All right. Well, I think next we'll take a look at the cabin and see what. Uh, Take a look at operator comfort and all that good time stuff. Good.